Lord have mercy that wind is blowing. Let me go ahead. Get ready to read y'all this. All right, what's going on? Welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. It's your boy Zell, and let's hop into it. So, I know a few videos I said that they haven't been really so harsh on us about the cell phones and earphones. I don't know what's been going on, but they back on it, and they're full. And it's in full effect. Um, they passed around a, a, a letter today to all the associates. Some got it, some didn't. I hope whoever didn't get one, somebody told those motherfuckers. But I'll read it to you. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. And to everyone who took vacation up till now, welcome back. First off, everyone from your leadership team wants to thank you for having a successful peak. Thank you all for your hard work. Now, with that being said, there are three policies that I need everyone to be mindful of as of now that we are starting a new year. One, no phone or earphones. We have said this time after time. They have said this time after time. But they don't do shit. <laughs> Get this. But now it's mandatory. Was it not mandatory before? So you were just fucking talking? You see what I'm saying? Meanwhile, I got rolled up. So if it's mandatory now, why the fuck did I get written up? But you're checking the time. But let's go, let's let's keep going. If any member of leadership sees it, it will be an instant write-up. I'm here to tell y'all that's bullshit today. Cause I seen leader leadership walk up on motherfuckers with those phones out and them earphones still in their ears, so they full of shit. Um at one point they weren't worried about TOT, but I guess that's also bad. TOT, leadership is paying attention to your time off task. Make sure to be on time when coming back from breaks and a reminder to clock in as soon as you walk in the building. Some people ain't clock, some people clocking in outside. I'm guilty of that. But it's like literally one minute. Like I'm right here and the door is right there. I'm, I'm not about to wait till I'm in the building to clock in. Like, come on now. And on top of that, sometimes that fucking app be acting crazy. So then you gotta hit miss and punch. Now they think you want some fuck shit. Like oh, whatever. But for the most part, for what I've heard, that human resource human resources don't even really be tripping if it's like one or two minutes. But when you like five, ten minutes and up, like hold on, motherfucker, like that's when they think you in the parking lot chilling. But they'll know. Excuse me. When you scan that badge to go through the little jail doors, y'all don't, don't know. Um, three. The spectral rate. It's 165 for packing. Everyone needs to be able to pack this rate. If not, you may be subjected for productivity write-up. From everyone here at management, we again thank you for your hard work. Let's have a great year. I don't have to worry about packing because I'm an AFE too, but I'm on the sort side. Now, this is why they're getting on the phones. So, of course... For all my AFE people, we know that this shit is a train. End up is the start of the train. Revenge is the middle of the train. Pack, that's the end of the train. We done whatever with every sort of order. For what I'm understanding, for what I read this, they don't say nothing about inductors or revenders. They say the expected pack rate is 165. Revenging is 600. Induct is 1200. If everybody not doing their rate, nobody's going to hit that shit. Well, yeah, they could. At the end of the day, the shit that blows me away is when, you know, the, the, um, <clears throat> oh, fuck, what's that? Oh, we were just talking about that. Uh, process, process guy. When they walk around and some of the PAs walk around showing me these walls and they blinking red. Your priority as a PA, as I know, because I used to be one, you need to be talking to those packers. There is no reason you should be fucking with those rebenders or those inductors. They did their part. The last stop of the goddamn operation is to pack it out. So, meanwhile, in their mind, hey, you guys are going too fast. Are we going too fast? Are we rebenders going too fast? Are we inductors going too fast? Really? Because... 
trust me, I, when it's times I have I have had to go on a wall and pack some shit, I would literally see a dude just sitting there doing this. FaceTiming his bitch or a girl FaceTiming her nigga or her best friend talking about thought shit. You know, yeah, Pookie and Ray Ray, this motherfucker came home at 3 in the morning. Meanwhile, she's not packing. Same with the other dude. Yeah, I can't wait to come home and eat your ass. He's not packing. Yeah, girl, I'll get you whatever you need, whatever. He's not packing. But you're fucking with the rebenders and the inductor telling us to slow down. Thus, fucking up our rate. So I'm fucking up my rate because those Packers are not doing anything? Come on, man. We're not about to sit here and play, man. Packer has, Packers have been the problem. Now, not necessarily. Because that's what I'm, I'm going to backtrack on that. Because if you got that fuckhead that don't be doing his shit packing, when you put him to rebend, he's going to do the same shit. I didn't seen that before when I was a PA. A dude, like, literally sitting there on his phone. Not rebending the trays. So guess who he fucks up? The inductor. He can't hit his rate because you're not fucking swiping. Now me, don't take it in a harsh way, y'all. I don't give a fuck about that anymore. I'm not a PA. But I'm talking about how this process rolls. This is how that process rolls. If the inductor not fucking moving, the rebenders can't move because the trays ain't moving. Because he's up there sitting there playing with their phone. So I'm very understanding about the phone. I am. I'm not, you know, rules is rules. It is what it is. I never, I never was pressed about it as a worker or a PA. A, a PA, I let you know, yo, this is what you need to do, blah, blah, blah. You ain't doing this. I'll come up to you on some nice shit. Yo, yo, bro, you know, put the phone up for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Tell like, man, come on, bro. Tell that girl, yo, get her up on your break, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, she don't trust the nigga. You know what I'm saying? She think I'm up here talking to these hoes. Well, break up with that insecure bitch. Nigga, we need you to move, for real, because you fucking up the whole process. You know what I'm saying? No, so I just seen some shit like that recently. That uh, it, uh, this shit was on Facebook, and I think it was on World Star. That a girl made her dude FaceTime her for his twelve-hour shift because she didn't trust him while at work being around other women. I'm like, bro, if you don't break up with this chick, I don't. Oh, these chicks are cutting off your nuts every day, every day. They cutting off the nuts. Now they working up to the shaft and then you dig head. They're just cutting it off, fellas. I don't know what's going on. I can't. I, that's why I said I'm not gonna be on here jabbing at these ladies because I can't be mad at a bear being a bear. You know what I'm saying? You a fish, you need to get away, th get away from that bear. It's trying to eat you alive. Get out of there, fish. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? Or it could be the other way around. Same with chicks. You know this dude ain't shit. He, he a bear. You a fish. You need to get that water and get to work away from him. But no, nah, some motherfuckers want to be eaten. Some people want to be caught. But, um, yeah. If, if you're dealing with anybody like that, that you got to have be FaceTime them the whole shift, you need to get away from them. You need to get away from them. Like, this is a person that needs to heal. You need to heal before you even start even dealing with someone. So this shit happens, too, with these insecure relationships or somebody that's too madly in love, putting the other person before themselves versus your job. It's a recipe for disaster. But, um, yeah, they're, they're not fucking around about these phones no more. I actually had a cool AM walk up on me today when I was sitting there. I guess, I'm not going to lie, I was blatantly with this shit in my hand. You know what I'm saying? Checking my YouTube comments and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, there's no work. No no totes coming down or nothing like that. And she was like, yo, man, did you get that paper we got? I'm like, yeah, it's right here. Oh, you wanted those, huh? You wanted those. I guess one of those, I guess you sound being an asshole. I'm like, yeah, that's paper right here. Pull it out my pocket or so it anything. She's like, so, are you asking for trouble? I'm like, Ah, man, where's the totes? You know what? You're right. You're right. And I saluted her. I had to. Like before, the old, the, the, the fucking OM made the AM write me up. The AM wasn't even tripping that day when I was telling y'all I got right up, wrote up. But she wasn't tripping. She was like, I can't really put you in trouble for that. Like, what? You just gonna sit there? There's nothing behind you, so it's downtime. I'm like, well, you know, I feel like as I can't tell y'all as AMs, y'all need to talk to these OMs. Shit, I think us as associates need to like voice our opinion more. I think it's some shit on the computer that's called voice or whatever. Like, if there's downtime, there's no reason you should be fucking with an associate for having their phone out. I'm just being real. There's no work. There's a jam out there. The trades are stuck. It's downtime. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to scan. There's nothing to. All right, well, until y'all fix that shit, let me see what's going on with my email. 
let me track this package I ordered. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying hit your OnlyFans or, yeah, bro, what's going on? Let me tell you what happened with the business last night. I ain't saying do all that. That's doing too much. Now you just blank me on the phone. But if you on the phone, like, you know, checking some shit, you know, use your peripheral to see that yellow. Oh, she didn't come and talk. All right. So she was cool. She was like, all right, look, check this out. If you're going to have your phone out, just try to turn your phone away from, like, the catwalk and, and our, our vision because she she was one, she was one of those cool AM. She reminded me as a PA, like, I don't give a fuck about your phones or earphones. If there's no work, do what you got to do. But when you see me, just, you know, try to tuck it in. You know, put some respect on my name, you know what I'm saying, or my position. But I didn't see her. She know I didn't see her, so she know I wasn't trying to play her. Like, I really didn't see her. Like, I was looking down. And, you know, I got this brim over my eyes. Well, she was sitting there, but I'm like, when I looked up finally, she was like, get the paper? And that's when I hit her with the head. Yeah. And I told her, it might ain't no worse. She was like, all right, I got you. So, like I said, you might run into those cool AMs, but you're going to run into that motherfucking AM that's, like, taking it a little bit too serious. Hey, well, you know, rules are rules. Even if you don't have no fucking work, you're not supposed to have your phone out. Man, get the fuck out of here if I spit on you. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But um, I just want y'all to be, uh, be very alert. Like I said, all of our Amazons are not the same, so I'm not sure if you got this paper at your Amazon or whatever. Just be careful because they is on it. I've seen a few people actually get rolled up today. But like I said, my situation was very different because they she literally seen there was no work there. So there was no reason like to really like, well, you know, you're breaking the rules, but it's not affecting your work because, like I said, your rate for packing is $165. There were about this rate. They said why this whole thing has been going on is because and why we didn't get our bonuses because these rates have been horrible horrible because people are not packing or meeting their rates on whatever they got to do they got these phones out or they, they they hormones out of control they can't focus they can't focus it's this dude that come in oh, oh this girl coming in oh, you know everybody just off focus man me i never wore earphones like i said before that that doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me for the phone they don't bother me either the only time i really pull out my phone is when there's nothing to do me, I'm the person that like to keep moving. Because I keep looking at my phone, but check, look at the time and all that stupid shit. While I'm moving and moving, I see people start moving towards the catwalk. And, oh, it's break time. Now I can pull it out. Boom. But yeah, just be wary that I wanted to put that out. So um, just be careful, man. If you one of those people that got that phone problem, hey, all I can do is try to tell you is try to maneuver the right way. You know what I'm saying? Because every AM is not going to be cool. I'm telling you right now. So that's the best, the best I really can tell you. I'm um, really going to wrap this up. Me and my cousin Jeremiah had made an episode yesterday. It was so fucking dope, y'all. I wish I could have seen it. It was 44 minutes long. But for some reason, this fucking device fucked up and did not upload it. I seen it had five views. So if, I know a few of y'all seen that video of us just doing this. Video uploaded, no fucking audio. So there was no way I didn't try. I tried to go to YouTube, Google to figure out how I can get the audio back on there. It was pretty much just a wrap. So shout out to Jeremiah Davis. He be in my um, well, he be in my comments. Y'all see him a lot of times. We actually did a whole episode. But next time he comes over, I'm going to see to it that I make sure that this shit is doing what it's supposed to do, and we gonna politic. Like we was throwing out a lot of gems. A lot of gems, man, that people in life can use. So um, definitely like this video. Definitely subscribe. You can share it if you want to. Um, we were promoting my auntie's business, our glasses, um, shadesbydmh.com. Good glasses. Uh, last time I showed y'all the white ones. I'm going to show y'all those again, too, but I'm going to show y'all these gold ones I got. She has a lot of different colors, you know, different styles. All types of stuff. So let me go ahead and let y'all get a good look at these. On the side. All that good shit. Very sturdy. Very good prices. You know, she ain't trying to go up in you and try to kill you. You know, you can use these in the winter time because that, that sun reflect off that snow. And there was a couple days I wish I'd have grabbed my glasses. But I wear, you know, gold and silver. So I try to coordinate. And she got red. She got green, yellow, orange, uh, gray it's all types of different styles for men and women and y'all seen these before too i'll let y'all look at the side you know silver trim with the white you know so in case you got your little outfit going on you know real good glasses real good glasses they come with um it comes with the bag it comes with a clean and wipe and um 
it comes with something covering the shades to make sure it don't really get scratched. Not really sure what it was. I forgot because I already done opened it, so I, I lost everything that was in front of it. But it comes with a, it comes with a few things. So I'm definitely gonna leave the link the link in the description so you can go there. Um, I'm gonna try to leave her Instagram on there, but I think the most important part she wants y'all to really get to is um, shades by dmh.com. That's where her shades are. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be shopping with her too uh, because I wear a lot of different colors. I wear a lot of red, of course, um, green. So when I got green on, you know, I coordinate. You know, some people hate people that match and everything, but that's just my thing. I can't go around with 50 fucking million colors on. Like, what in the 6 9 is this? But, um, yeah, like I said, um, get right or get wrong, man. Get right. I guess you can go by their policy, and you're going to be all right. You, you, you know, like I said before on a lot of other videos, don't give them a reason to fuck with you, you know? But I'm not innocent myself, but like I said, my situation was different. She seen I didn't have work, but I still had my phone out. Get wrong. Fuck everything I just read to you. Fuck this paper. You know, you could be one of those dudes. Make fuck that paper. I took you in the bathroom and wipe my ass with it. You know, you can be one of those. That's on you. But whatever happens to you, it's on you. I'm just here to help. That's all. You know, to do preventative measures because it's getting so bad. Some people are so attached to that phone that they said, if I get written up for having my phone out, I'm quitting. So it's a lot of people threaten to quit, but that's your life. It is what it is. I said it before that jobs don't fire people. People fire themselves. But you know, at this point, I heard that Amazon is damn near paying a hundred percent of whatever you want to do on amazoncareers.com. So I'm about to honestly go in that room right now to see what they got to offer. Cause I don't know. Lately I've been thinking about getting my CDLs. I always like driving anyway, so fuck it. Why not? But, um, I catch y'all tomorrow. I wanted to make a video tonight, but, um, just gonna make it tomorrow. We still gotta talk about a touchy subject for men. We we need to help y'all because y'all are really throwing y'all life away because of your hormones and just being a hard headed motherfucker. But um, God bless. Stay dangerous. I'm gonna leave the description for the glasses. Um, in the little description box and make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is not private anymore. It's public. I am Zell forty six. I A M Z A L E four six and I made a TikTok, but I ain't made no videos yet. But when I get that up and running, I'll start leaving that description. All right, so take it easy. I catch y'all tomorrow, y'all.